where we used to pray, the congregation in here, which is heartbreaking uh, to see this. This is my first time seeing this. It's horrible. The extent of the damage to the temple is extensive. We had about five feet of water everywhere, and since the temple is on street level, the sanctuary was flooded. Uh, pews were just tossed by what must have been waves. The floors are buckling. Our office is uh, decimated, as is our library. This is rough. I've been in the building for 30 years. I came with my son when he was three. Uh, trash bags are here. All kinds of cleaning equipment is here. On this side, gloves, masks. I don't think I could probably say the words I was going around saying as I walked around and looked at, looked at the damage. It was just mind-blowing. And uh, I couldn't believe what a force of nature a hurricane can be. I'm from Ohio. And, you know, I've seen tornadoes, but there was a lot of damage. And I just was like, I was so saddened by it. Um, not just for, you know, that, oh, it's a building, but there were people many years ago whose names were on the wall who, you know, died and who were founders of this temple who built it with their own hands and used to have fundraising kinds of events out on the boardwalk in Rockaway Park and until they could buy a mansion that was here. And then they transformed the mansion into, you know, they built it piece by piece, but it, um, there's a lot of memory here. We have a hundred member families, which is over a hundred people, of course, including spouses and children. Uh, it's, a, it's a small, but I think a, a devoted membership. We have a lot of memories and a lot of personal investment in this place, and we're just so devastated by what the storm has done to it. But we're also heartened by all the volunteers and the outpouring of people from uh, communities and from congregations all around the city and beyond. People were here doing really dirty, messy work in the last few weeks, cleaning up, washing floors, hosing things down. When the adjuster came, he said, oh, there's more than a million dollars worth of damage here. And, and that was what our flood insurance was. I mean, plus a few other things on the side. But yes, I worry about the financial recovery. But I'm trying to make lemonade out of lemons and have this be an opportunity to um, re-involve people and um, rededicate their families and their lives to our synagogue and to its future. We have many young people, uh, we have some elderly members. I hope that all or most come back. I know some people will probably throw in the sponge at this point, but I hope most of them come back. This truly was traumatic and a crisis, um, not just for our building and not just for our congregation, but for the families. And some of, our, some of our families are first responders, and I can only imagine, you know, those who were at 9-11, what this triggered for them, and, you know, what fear it may have instilled in their children. Um, I mean, who were a lot younger then, but, um, you know, 9-11 is a pretty defining thing for uh, people here in the Rockaways, but there's, there's no limit on uh, either suffering nor resilience, and uh, this is a very resilient community, and for that I feel grateful. <laughs>